Richie Barrington, the spell that he had, obviously leaving Alistair Evans out, he was going to have to pick up some overs at some stage, and that 15th over, he got hooked on a frame, and then he suffered a really bad run rate, as well as two against the five balls. And at that stage, Pena, even though the run rate was, they needed about 11 and over, on this ground, you guys showed you can make that up very quickly. How much of an impact did you think his spell had on that result? Yeah, Richie, he's a, he's a big match player. Um, he's done that a number of times for us, whether it be with the bat or the ball. Um, and he did it with both today for us. That's why I ended up man of the match. Um, the plans were, were fairly simple. The, the, the pitch uh, was a tough pitch to score or runs on, um, which is going to bring sides closer together. Um, with the size of the boundaries, you know that you know even miss hits will, can go for six, especially straight on that field. But Richie was very clear on how he was going to go about his bowling. He knew what he was going to try and do. He just mix the pace up and try to keep the ball at the top of the stumps. And, uh, uh, you know, it paid off towards the end. Which do you place a higher value on in the context of performance? The way he, he bowled in that spell, needing to contribute overs with a, a one less touch that he needed to basically, or the partnership that he had with Count and Cobb just kind of laying a platform so that Count started to be able to get it going. Yeah, it's hard to say. Um, I, I, he was so valu valuable with the bat. The innings, uh, they, they gave our innings some impetus when we needed it. Um, they're both experienced players for us and giving them the the, the opportunity to get themselves in um, but have the composure to see it through to where they did was, was massively important for us. Otherwise, we could have been really under the cosh there. Um, like I said, the... If you put there, are slightly different surfaces out there, but on, on that surface, it's always going to be it's going to be tough ground to score on. Um, so I'd probably lean on the batting, but his his impact he had with the ball was so valuable. It's really hard to separate the two, but um, we may not have had a score to defend if he hadn't done that first of all. The partnership that he had with Count Carter over the course of seven, eight, nine years, those two have had some of the biggest partnerships for Scotland in any format. As somebody who's been in a long time coming over those two, those two guys, what do you observe about their styles that allows them to complement each other so well? Yeah, I think their their ability to to rotate the strike, their ability to um, play the spin, um, maneuver the ball into gaps in the field. Um, so they're both slightly different players, but um, they've they've got their unique styles that that clearly. Um, work really well together. They hit the ball in different areas, which makes it very hard for for bowlers and the opposition to um, maintain um, and restrict them. So those two have turned into outstanding cricketers for Scotland. And they, they over the years, they put in some some phenomenal performances. And today, maybe may, might go under the radar a little bit in terms of some of the ones they have done in the past. But today was as valuable as any. We needed those points today um, against a dangerous uh, Kenyan side. At that stage, when, when uh, he came out for that 15th over, again, considering the way you guys finished your innings, scoring 110 in the last 10 overs, it looked like Kenya were maybe slightly ahead with their pitching lineup. Did you feel that, that you guys were behind at all at that stage? And um, whether it was that wicket that we're upon green or, or the Collins Way wicket, which did you feel really um, shifted momentum fully back in your favor? Uh, I think, I think. Arfan Karim, he batted brilliantly. Um, he, he kept rotating the strike, but he hit boundaries early on. Um, I think it was that that got us going. If you, I think it was the next over that act, we actually had Collins dropped at mid off, long off. That um, could have been costly, but as it turns out, it wasn't. Um, the impetus we got from the end of our innings was down to um, pure uh, resilience and determination from our guys to make sure we could find ways to hit boundaries. Um, the guys have got the skills to do it. Tom Sol played an outstanding knock towards the end, and so did Matthew Cross. Um, the tempo that they played, they didn't build dots, which was good. They kept rotating the strike, um, gave themselves a chance to get in, and then they, they had the ability to clear the ropes. Um, a huge credit to those guys coming in lower order because that was a really gutsy, gutsy effort down at the back end of our innings, which was really, really important to what we what we put on the board in the end. So if we didn't have that, the bowlers, you know, would have been under the cosh. We were definitely behind the game at, at certain points um, with the ball. 
uh, and we missed opportunities again today. But we're getting better. Um, we're probably about 70%, I reckon. If we keep improving that as we go along, we should be in a, in a reasonable position after an another couple of games. But like I keep saying, there's no poor sides in this tournament. Conditions make the sides come closer together. Um, it's going to be a tough tournament the whole way through.